Hello everyone! Happy Monday! Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa from Penguin and Fish and uh, this is where we make uh, cute embroideries and uh, we relax and craft in the evenings here. So thanks again for joining me. It's been a few weeks since I've been here uh, so it's nice to be back. We'll see how uh, my cameras and technology treat me tonight. Let me know if anything sounds or looks weird. Um, I think I have to order a few new cords for this to work properly, but we'll see how it goes. But again, thanks for joining me uh, tonight. We are continuing on the ABC quilt. We only have two letters left. We have the yak and the zebra. Uh, tonight we'll be starting the yak embroidery. I uh, will do that this week um, through Thursday. I won't be here on Friday. Uh, and then um, the zebra we'll do next week, Monday through Thursday as well. <laughs> and if you don't know what's going on, I've been changing my schedule a little bit because uh, we're going to have a baby. And at some point, I'm probably just not going to be able to be on as consistently. So uh we're working on that oh hearing an echo a little bit all right uh let me know if anyone else is hearing an echo oh boy okay maybe okay actually maybe it'll stop once i'm oh here hold on all right how is that is it still echoing let me know if it's still echoing here um, I think I might have fixed that. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Uh, I might have the same problem on the other camera, but let me know. Um, okay, let me know now if it's still echoing. Uh, I, I see on, it's echoing both on Facebook and... And um, Tracy says, perfect. So it's fixed now? <laughs> Better? Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I figured out the problem. Um, <laughs> we may have a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit of that while uh, in the next uh, week or so um, I got to order some things and ugh, redo all the settings for everything and <laughs> there's just a lot of little bits to it but awesome thanks for bearing with me um, all right let's uh, let's flip around here and uh, get started on this I'm definitely happy to see everyone again it's been it feels like it's been like four months or something right crazy it's been like been two weeks so lots been going on i'll have to tell you about all that um but let's start stitching while while we do that so all right let's try this again hopefully there's no glitches but bear with me for <laughs> a little bit here okay we're we got movement here i think uh okay good and and it should still just be um let me know if the sound gets goofy again so all right i'm gonna scooch on uh the tic tacs over here so, all right, we got the yak and the zebra. And you know what? I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to iron both of these on at the same time, just because, uh, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but just because I might not be able to have this same setup every evening. Um, I may be on location in the spare bedroom here. <laughs> I'll let you know why uh, in a sec. But, um, so I won't have my iron in there. So I just kind of want to do both at the same t time. Ah, oh, Darlene, thanks. Darlene says I'm just glowing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll talk about that. But I do want to iron on both of these at the same time. So I'm going to just prep for that. I do have my ironing mat here and the, the um, irons uh, heating up. And I got my little piece of um, just... Um, just like a paper towel just to protect my ironing surface as I do this. And I have a, two pieces of fabric here, one for each, each design. Um, so let's just get that out. Let's just get started on that. And um, I'll tell you what's going on. So for the past two weeks, so the timing, the timing of me not being on for a couple weeks. So I'm basically doing the first three weeks on minus Friday. So Monday through Thursday, the first three weeks of the month, um, I'm going to do it this month and, and March. And then we'll see after that. Um, but I'm on the first three weeks of the month, Monday through Thursday now is the new kind of schedule. Um, so last month I had two weeks off, that means, um, that I'm just getting back to today. I'm going to find the Iron Me pattern here. There we be. All right, I am going to cut off that text. 
And let's just do that for the zebra right away. Let's just get both of these out. Um, I do want to keep keep the instruction page on hand, or not the instruction, the um, little uh, stitch guide on hand, just for colors and stitches. Uh, let's do the same here. Um, but anyway, the timing of these past two weeks, me being off, worked out perfect uh, because we're redoing our upstairs, like we're DIY constructioning, <laughs> and by by we, I mean not me. <laughs> I mean John and uh, his family uh, have been coming over here, and we basically we we live in a one and a half story. So the half story is basically an attic, um, which at some point a previous owner had redone. I don't know, like it, the house is from the 40s. So either in the 40s right away or like in the 70s or something, someone just like finished the attic um, with wood paneling. <laughs> wood paneling and threw up some carpet and some makeshift closet. So um, there's stairs like going up the middle and then uh, all, all of that stuff. All right, I'm gonna preheat the fabric and then we'll flip the iron me over and I'll press. And I'll do the same thing with the zebra as well and we'll hold it there for about five seconds. But anyway, so uh, they, oops, shoot, sorry. Kicked, kicked the tripod. Um, but they finished, they like made it enough for it to be called a room, right? Oh, I think we froze. Shoot, hold on. Hold on a sec, you guys. This is what I was a little bit worried about um, today. So bear with me, I'm just gonna, oh, there we go, okay. I'm gonna activate and deactivate. So I might have to do that more than once tonight. Again, I need, I need to buy some new cords, I think is the problem. Um, but yeah, so we have an unfinished, we had, I mean, it was finished. So we have like a finished half story um, that was just finished enough. We put our, so that that's our bedroom basically. Um, so what, what they're working on, John and his family is putting a bathroom up there. <laughs> so we only, the house only has one bathroom. And uh, um, so we're like, and we don't have a nursery either. So we're gonna be putting in, a, there's a, like a little bump out that we don't have access to yet without opening up a wall upstairs. So they're gonna open up that wall and put in a bathroom is, is the idea. <laughs> uh, which is a whole thing. But it's been, it's gonna be nice having a second bathroom <laughs> and obviously a little like mini nursery area. Um, so this big kind of open space, that's the bedroom. We now put the bathroom like right in the middle of it. And then the opposite side where the stairs are, uh, is just gonna be, you know, like a little um, workstation almost. And then we'll open up the wall and that nook that's opened up by the wall will be the nursery. So. <laughs> Piles of construction, but oh my gosh, you guys, we have plumbing. Oh, we froze again. Oh my God, you guys, this is gonna be annoying. So annoying tonight. Um, let me just deactivate and activate again. Okay. Um, so right now we, we're like ready for in our rough inspection for plumbing. We had a plumber come in, um, we did the electrical. So plumbing, electrical, um, you know, framing, it's all framed in to like have a shower and a bathroom up there and uh, and walls are being torn down. Like there's so much that happened in just these two weeks, but we have moved basically downstairs into the spare room, um, the, the guest room, which is, yeah, like a little spare, spare room downstairs that used to be my office down here. Um, anyway, here's our yak. And uh, I may be filming from there because they're gonna be doing more construction stuff in the evenings and more people here working on it, family working on it. And so I might just be doing this in the bedroom, but we'll see. But that's why I wanted to, um, that's why I wanted to put both of these on the fabric right away, just so they're both 
both ready to go. Oh, Darlene's asking, I haven't been on for a while. Are you going to make a baby quilt from these blocks? It would be beautiful. Ooh, why don't we do a little update? It's been a little while here, right? So, okay, so the yak. We have two letters left. Here's my little bin for this project. Um, we are making a quilt out of it. So here's my little clip. Oops, Sorry. I keep hitting that. This is my little clipboard, and I'm actually using this as a dry erase board when we want to practice... Um, practice free motion quilting. Um, a Pierce is asking, what do you have on the back of your hoop? Oh, are you, are you asking about the, um, the little wrap right here? I can talk about that for a sec. And then I'll show you, uh, we do have, we are, uh, we do have a quilt going. We're doing a free motion quilting on it and a quilt as you go process where we get to quilt smaller blocks. I'll show you the progress on that. So what I've done here is I've wrapped the inner hoop. I don't, I don't do this all the time. Um, I actually stitch with like bamboo hoops pretty often, but I don't have one near me. So this is my like spare, spare hoop. So what I've done is just taking scrap fabric, like a one inch thick. Um, you can use like ribbon or you can use like bias tape, kind of whatever you got. And I've wrapped it around and let me see if I can find the spot on it. Um, like here, here I ran out of fabric, so I just put the next one there and just kept wrapping. I didn't, I didn't sew it down or anything, but there's one spot. Yeah, so here's, here's my end. I just tacked it down with some stitches. And what this does by having a wrapped inner hoop, uh, it, it makes, um, it kind of protects your fabric a little bit more. So it makes less of a harsh crease. So because it kind of makes like a rounded edge. Um, it also holds your fabric um, a lot better. So if there's any like imperfections with your hoop at all, like a little like a little like bump out or a little bloop in the hoop somewhere, um, the extra fabric can help help um, the the wrapped hoop can kind of help hold that in place. So it does help. It helps everything stay uh, more secure, and so it, it is nice to use. You can wrap the outer hoop as well. Um, I definitely wrap the inner hoop. That's that's the one to wrap if you're just gonna wrap one. Um, and you can wrap the outer hoop as well, but I don't typically because then it can sometimes be harder to close close the top. But that's what's that's what we got going on here. It just kind of protects the fabric um, a bit. All right, so here's the quilt so far. Got a few extra sheets. So this is the design. Uh, we're gonna. This is the order. We actually haven't focused on the corners yet, so I gotta deal with that. We gotta make some decisions on that, but this is kind of how it's gonna be laid out. Oh my gosh, we gotta finish this turtle yet too. We have a few that we don't have done. I think we've got enough. Oh, we're gonna add a, actually we're not quite done with the inside here. We're gonna add some few French knots. Oh my gosh, you guys, I haven't seen this in two weeks though. Look at him, he looks so cute. So we got a few bits to go on this guy yet. Um, he's a letter T. Let's just go through all these. We'll have a little little past show and tell here. So uh, X, we added the little baby fish in that one. W, so none of these are prepped for quilting yet. So all of these, all of these um, need, need to be prepped for quilting. And I'm hoping we can do some of that. That'll be like the main thing um, once we're done with, with the embroidery. So the embroideries will be this week for the yak and next week for the zebra. And then we'll have a whole nother week, plus we'll have all of March, and that's when we're gonna get back to, to um, quilting. So this one, um, obviously this is in, in order, it's letter P, but uh, it's out here because it's unfinished and uh, we're doing hand quilting on this one. We've done, we did hand quilting on one other one. And um, this one we decided to do hand quilting too. It's a little flying, flying pig and we drew little clouds all over it and the hand quilting is looking so freaking cute so far, I think. So I'm, I'm excited to continue on that. All right, this guy's all ready to quilt but hasn't been quilted yet. So we got it all basted. Um, we got the batting in the middle and then the backing. So you can see we're, we're, we're doing each piece separately. We're quilting each piece separately. Um, this guy's prepped too. And then we'll be assembling them um, using the quilt as you go process. And I can show that a little bit here too. Look at him, 
We added him too. I don't remember. Did we know? I don't know if I knew I was having a baby yet when we did this guy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I might not have known yet. <laughs> oh yeah, we did a little rainbow. Raccoon, dang, all these are prepped for quilting. We haven't quilted any of them yet. All right, but here's some that we do have quilted. So we did some free motion quilted, a uh, quilting on uh, um, on all of these. So you can see there's a raw edge yet. Uh, we take care of that during the quilt as you go process later. Here's our monkey. We have like little uh, palm trees there. Oh gosh, I forgot about him. Look at all his floofiness. Our little our little lion king, basically. We did a little crown on there. <laughs> He's kind of funny. Oh yeah, and the, our koala, I really like just this simple leafy thing. I think this turned out really pretty. I'm proud of that quilting there, that's cute. Um, all right. I haven't seen these in forever, you guys. It's fun to look through this. So our jellyfish. Oh yeah, this is where we do like a little apple and a leaf that this guy is sitting on. That's right, I forgot about that. Oh, this is our little practice sheet. I should maybe leave that out, we'll, we'll need that. Oh, and then we have the pieces that we have already done the quilt as you go process with. So um, for example, this is this is our row one, uh, A, B, C, and then we have the corner pieces that I don't have done yet. But you can see how we've assembled these. First, I've cut them down. They're, they're much smaller. Uh, they're gonna end up, I think it's like eight and a half inches or so. Um, but we put a piece on the front and a piece on the back, and that covers up the raw edges. So like, where, you know, this raw edge, um, you know, you can see the you can see the batting and the back and all that, and then this raw edge, we're basically covering that up with with pieces of fabric, um, through a process called quilt as you go, which is exactly what it means. We're quilting each block as we finish them, and then later we'll, we're assembling them. So this we actually have assembled minus the corners. Um, so he's pretty far to ABC, hold him back up. And then, then we also have the second row started. Did we finish this one? We might've finished this one. So the second row has, has five on. So D, E, and we stitch these in order too. So I think it'll be interesting to see a progression in the um, free motion quilting to F, yeah, those backs are done. G, this is the other one that we hand quilted. And then H, so this row is completely done. So we, we, have, um, we have row two done. And that's it, so that's, that's all the letters. That's where we're at so far. Pretty dang far, I think. Let me flip all these back in here. Um, a, lot, a lot of work to do yet though. I mean, there's a lot that's unquilted. These aren't even prepped for quilting. And we got the two more to embroider. It's it's a bunch still. But we'll get there. So here's my little, I got my little project bin. I'll snap that shut. I actually don't really like this bin. Um, it doesn't stay closed very well. But that is the state of the st state there. Uh... Okay, we're still not frozen, so that's good. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. It's been, it's totally been a while since I've gone through that. All right, and I think we can, let's just start stitching on this guy. So I have him here. So I know we talked about doing uh, um, the letters with turkey work, which is that really furry stitch that like just gives us, it looks like a rug almost. It, it allows us the long stitches, like what we did on the lion's mane. We talked about doing that for the why, and I think that's kind of silly and fun. Um, so I thought, why not? Um, so that'll probably be the big focus. So I think with the yak, we can just kind of keep them pretty plain, and then um, then maybe just do the whys all crazy and special. So I think why don't we just start on his fur, his body? That'll make us make me feel like we got the most done. So here's my blurg of. Um, <laughs> of my cloud of scraps, yet we've been going through the scraps. Although actually, now that I look at it, we have a lot of that brown on on the spool yet. So actually, and 
And I don't know if I have any in here. It doesn't look like it. So let's let's actually start fresh. How about that? When was the last time we've done that? These are the only colors I have left um, on little bobbins before they just come in our giant scrap pile. But all right, let's get, I'm gonna do three strands still, so I'm just getting a big chunk here. Oh, Wanda says, do you, did I see the quilt that you hand quilted? Oh, I'll have to look again. Um, did you post it like a, like a week or so ago? Or did you post it recently? I did see um, that hand quilted one that someone did. Was that, was that yours? That, cause that was just like freaking an amazing amount of beautiful work. <laughs> but if you just posted it, I'll, I'll have to look. All right, separating my strands to oh, here and three. Okay, so I'll set that guy to the side and put these back together. And this is gonna be just some chill stitching. I mean, it's mostly just like a bunch of straight stitches. Um, I don't know, how should I do this? Should I start at his head? Maybe I'll start with these stitches here, go around his head, and then come back and do this, this, um, you know, line in the back, which is back stitch, and then just start digging into all these straight stitches. I think maybe that's a plan. We're gonna use up, use up a bunch of floss filling in him though. I think I'll use my, just because it's so dry here, I think I'll use my floss scent red conditioner too. Oh, a week or two ago. I think I did see that, Wanda. That's just, it was freaking beautiful, your, your quilt. All right. <laughs> yeah, Amy, or Amy, bloop, bloop in the hoop. Exactly, that, that's what wrapping the, the um, uh, hoop is good for. All right, I need a needle. There we go. <laughs> Looking at my little, my strawberries kind of full of stuff. Oh, I did actually empty. I should show you guys this. I I finally was getting too annoyed with my little, I have mini like garbage here. So I, uh, this little cover here, I've just been, anytime we've had little pieces left, I've just been putting, putting my pieces in there. So like garbage basically. And it was just overflowing. So I finally um, put it into a uh, ornament. Let me show you guys. So <laughs> I got some of those Christmas ornaments that you can um, open up and put stuff in. So, so I'm like, I did that for this project just so I could get rid of um, all that garbage in the, in the strawberry tray. But this is it. This is all the scraps so far from it. And I'll, I'll take this out and I'll put the rest of the scraps in. But dang, that does not seem like a lot for this whole giant project, does it? These are all the little, um, all the little, uh, pieces that were just a hair too short. Just a little bitty bit too short for, um, to use again. All the little scrappy bits. But I think, uh, it's, I just, I was so surprised that it fit into one, one design like that. All right, um, well, I think I'm gonna start off with the like, that like cheater way of doing in a way not where I just start from the front and I leave um, just enough thread, just chilling um, to do my, to do a stitch. So I'm gonna leave a stitch. I'm gonna leave enough thread for that stitch and I'm just gonna start stitching the rest. I don't do this all the time, but I don't know. I feel like more and more I've been doing it just because I feel lazy. Sometimes I will like tie a knot here and do like a true away knot, but if I think it's gonna be out of the way, then I'll let it be. So I'm gonna go around in all these straight stitches now and then come, you know, I'll come back around and then I'll like jump. I don't know if that was actually a great idea, but that's what we're doing now. I already started. I was trying to figure out like the easiest path or the path that uses up the least amount of thread. And 
I don't know if this is it, but what I'm going with. There we go. Oh man, but like, so they're doing plumbing and everything, so the whole, like they had to like find places for to go from all the way upstairs to the basement to where the you know plumbing goes out to the street and stuff so we had to dig up concrete and that's still dug up it has to stay stay dug up until it's inspected on Wednesday so it's just like all these little steps and and you need a pile of permits for our area and just an interesting process like remodeling stuff but it's been really fun Oh, that's such a cute idea. Yeah, I, I think uh, um, I have seen, I've seen people online, and I kind of want to do this too, but I don't think my handwriting's good enough. I'll have to practice. But like, they, I've seen people do this and keep only this, like only projects, like particular projects together. I mean, I guess what I mean by that, like this would only be the stuff, the scraps from this project. And then they write like with a, you know, one of those like, I don't know, mar markers that can write on glass. Um, they'll write what the project was and then like the year. And I thought that was just such a neat idea too. So I might do that for this too, like ABC quilt, you know. Oh God, we probably started when like 2021. Wait, 22, no, 2022. Yeah, we started this at the beginning of, yeah, I think it was February. I think we started this February, 2022. Um, I don't think we started on the first of the month. Yeah, so February 2022 till like, I don't know, whenever, 2023. I am hoping we can kind of get this done sooner than later, obviously. Um, so the big amount of time that we'll be working on this, um, like the quilt part of it will be week three this week or this month. So we got the yak, then we got the zebra. And actually, you know what? Week three, we might not be doing much quilting. I think week three, we should work on finishing up all our unfinished things, which I think right now is just the turtle. Man, so maybe this week we do the turtle, or not this week, this month. We finish the Y, we finish the Z, and then that last week, the week three, we finished the turtle, and then maybe we try and get the hand quilting on that, on that pig done. So it's the turtle and the pig that are kind of like out there as unfinished hand work. Um, so maybe we try and take care of that in week three, because then all of March, so March, I'll be here for the first three weeks as well. And then we're just, it's going to be up in the air after that. But we can talk about that too. Um, but so for March, then we can solely focus on machine embroidery, basically, and assembly. Uh, so I can get my sewing machine out here and my extension table, and we can just totally be free motion quilting the way on, on all of these for the month of March. And then hopefully doing like, you know, more quilt as you go assembly as well. I don't know. I don't know if we'll finish all of that in the three weeks that we'll be on in March. Um, and through March is kind of my last little bit that I'm scheduling. Because <laughs> after that, who knows what's going to be up. Uh, my due date is May 30th, so April, May is kind of where I'm not going to be on consistently anymore, and, and who knows after that. Um, so, oh, you know what? I have, I have this little face down here. Let's, let's jump and do some of this. Little backstitch. Oops. But I am hoping to pop on here and there, and we're putting together a little system. Uh, we'll talk about it this month for sure. Um, so I can notify you guys when I'll be on, but I'd love to do like, we're spending all afternoon or whatever, working on the ABC quilt and stuff like that. 
uh, where it's maybe not this same time. It might be during the day or it might even be like for a longer period of time or whatever. It's just going to be more sporadic. Um, just because I don't know <laughs> what's going to, like if I'm going to need the time or not, like with the baby stuff. Um, but yeah, so it'll be more on a announcing basis and then I'll be on for, for that bit after March. Yes, more random, exactly. Exactly, Noeline. Which, you know, is not ideal, I realize. <laughs> I just don't know how else I'm gonna do it. Um, but yeah, so uh, when that comes around, um, you know, we might do like little, like a day of, um, or like a couple hours where we just work on the quilt as you go process or something, you know? So the goal is still to get this puppy done. And, um, you know, we still have the, we still have the splendid sampler quilt. You know, I'd never actually finished um, stitching the label on for the, um, uh, Granny square quilt. I do, oops, I did, I did actually finish the label though. We weren't quite done embroidering the label yet. I did actually finish embroidering the label. I have not, I have not sewn it onto the quilt yet though. So there's, there's projects hanging out there. Oh, and I started that knitting project too. I was knitting, I wanted to start that, uh, that baby blanket, um, that's knit. So I did that. Um, that guy is started. So we could just have a, like a little knitting session sometime too. So I just want to pop on a little bit more, work on this project because I just want I want to get this done for sure, and then um, work on, you know, other unfinished projects, all that. So it'll just be more of a popping. Oh, that's true. Um, Nolene says, "Is everyone if everyone set their alert button on Facebook to get the notifications?" that you're on. Yes. So I definitely suggest, um, whatever your favorite place to view is throw on a notification, uh, for that. Um, we're also putting together, we got to figure it out still, but we're putting together, um, and I know this is like a personal way of doing it. So if you don't want to do this, then definitely don't just do, just do notifications, but we're going to put together like a text messaging, like an SMS thing too, so that um, if you sign up, we'll have a little sign up if you wanted to put your phone number in, then we'll just text before we go live. It will only be for, um, it will only be for um, announcing, so it won't be like, like here's your abandoned card and all that. It won't be any of that stuff. It's just gonna be, um, like if you sign up, it will just be for, letting you know when we're live. So if that's, if once we have that set up, if you, if you wanted to sign up for, for getting text messages, then it'll be like, just something like, hey, it's March or like March is in a week. We're gonna be, we're gonna be going on again. Here's our schedule. Or like, hey, I'm, you know, it's, it's April 5th. I'm gonna go on today at two for a couple hours and we're gonna work on the ABC quilt. It'll be just like stuff like that. Um, just, uh, or like, hey, I'm, uh, you know, we go live in an hour. Just little reminders of, of when we're gonna be going live. So um, if you're interested in that, uh, the text messaging for just when I'm live streaming, I'll be putting that together. Um, early this month. So we'll be, we'll be letting you guys know about that and we'll, we'll put it on our live stream page too. Ideally, um, there'll be just like a little form for you to put your phone number in and then you'll get messages like telling you like, if you don't want these messages, click stop and all those sort of things too. But yeah, we just thought that might be the best way, um, if you're wanting to, um, for sure not miss not miss a live since it's going to be more random. Um, otherwise, again, if that's too personal, because I know all that text messaging stuff is, I don't know, pretty personal. I feel like if, you know, a company gets your phone number sort of thing like that. Um, 
you might not want that. So if, if you don't, then that's fine. Then uh, you can go to like, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok, you can put in your, um, you know, click the bell or whatever it is on, on any of them to get notifications. Which works sometimes. <laughs> Theoretically, they should work all the time, but you know. Oh, I forgot about this. So we remember we left our, I finished that little bit. I had just enough thread to get all that, which is great. Uh, but we have this little bit that we started out with, right? So I'm gonna thread that. We'll finish that first stitch. And I'll weave in this end as well. So the reason I did that was because I didn't have anything to weave it into yet. I didn't have any backs to stitches yet in our, on our fresh piece. And that was basically just reserving that thread so we can weave in now. Guys, I'm learning so much about electricity and plumbing and I didn't even do any of this work. <laughs> it's just, it's just really interesting and fun though. Okay. Here's our second half of our thread and let's just, let's run it through the thread conditioner again. Oh, no, Elaine says that YouTube has notifications that work well. Oh, that's good. So that's awesome. So the, the, on YouTube, it's that little bell. So you have to hit, I think you, I don't know if you have to be subscribed to do the notification notifications, but yeah, you can hit subscribe and then there'll be like a little bell too. The bell part is the um, notifications part. So I don't know, however you get notified, like a little message on your phone or whatever. So that's, that's the way to do it. Uh, Linda says, are you going to sell the thread conditioner individually? I am hoping to have it individually. Um, I got to talk to my brother yet about that. But this year sometime, ho hopefully early in the year, we are going to put together. Yeah, some, so, we, so I have like some various uh, thread conditioners uh, individually. It might be different packaging than this. It might not be the round case. We're going to be working on that. Um, but yes, I do want to get the floss scents into the shop. Um, so we're working on that. I don't have that there yet, though. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to weave in the end right here in the backs of these stitches, and I'll finish these last little hairs here, and then we'll, we'll jump across the, um, horn here. Yeah, there'd be horns on. Okay, we're going to need some... <laughs> Someone's gonna have to look up yak anatomy. We've we've had like animal anatomy lessons this whole entire project, but I'm assuming these would be horns on a yak and not like antlers, right? Yeah, they're they're like cows. They'd be horns, right? Yeah, horns. I'm gonna just go with horns. But anyway, we'll we'll do these stitches, go across the horn, and then I'm gonna do all these back stitches, and then I'll just come back and just start filling in, filling in all his little hairsies. So let's weave in first. Uh, Noeline thinks on YouTube, you do have to subscribe first. Okay. Yeah, so you subscribe and then there'll be like an extra button for the little, little bell. Oh, Noeline says, yes, they're horns, 100%. Okay. Yeah, the moment I said antlers, I'm like, that's wrong. <laughs> different, different kind of animal. All right. Let's get these bellers going. I like his little head tuft here that we're stitching. This guy's just so happy. Oh man, you guys, we're still working on girl names yet. We don't we we don't have a solid solid deal on that yet. I'm kind of delegating that to like third trimester problems, but <laughs> I know last time you guys had a lot of like really great names and uh I appreciate that. We have not gone with with any of them any any names yet. That's like a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, geez, like oh, feels like we have a knot. Yeah, there we go. That might have had a little too much thread gloss in there. Or thread conditioner. Also, I'm far away. Like I like my left hand, like being able to touch the stitch that I'm working on and 
Um, I also like having this upright while I work, just especially when I'm here with you guys. But my hand doesn't reach that far, so when I can't feel the thread go through anymore, then sometimes I get a knot here and there. So we're just doing a little back stitch down his back, and then, yeah, then I'll fill in, fill in his hairs. Oh, Newling says, I did an assignment on yaks when I was eight. I always remember that's awesome. <laughs> I think now that I, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I do something like that? I think I did um, the Japanese crane. I think I did a report on. I remember drawing, drawing some cranes and doing that. That might have been around that time too. <laughs> oh, it, Anna's asking, what am I due? I'm due May 30th. Oh, Lynn, those are nice. I do like those names. Olivia and Francesca. That is definitely the realm that I'm thinking. Kind of like a little bit older sounding names like that. Ugh, I'm so excited for this baby quilt I'm knitting, though. But the squares? <laughs> So the yarn is so much smaller than I was thinking and the square is so much bigger. So this, this little baby blanket is going to take me a long time and I haven't been, I haven't been um, actively mega working on it either, which I, I'll need to. <laughs> Maybe once, once this upstairs remodel is done, I can just chill up there in the evenings and and uh, knit for a little, sit in the, you know, soon to be nursery and, and just chill in there and knit. That sounds relaxing. <laughs> I like that idea. And maybe I'll crank through it. We're also talking about maybe visiting my brother and his girlfriend in Washington. Um, I don't know, March-ish, cutting it close if we do it any much later than that. But if we do end up doing that, then I'll have to bring the knitting on the plane and get a pile done, a pile of knitting done. Although I'm a little scared of that because, you know, TSA, I don't want them to take my knitting needles. That'd be a really big problem because... The knitting needles I'm using are like super duper expensive. They're the, they're that interchangeable set that I just really, really, really love. I suppose I would only have to like rebuy the, that size needle and the cord or whatever that I'm using for it, but that would be tragic. Oh my God. And I'd have to take, oh, that would be the worst. I would have to take the um, needles off. Okay, that scares me a little. I know that's probably very unlikely. Oh, but still, that would be a sad, sad day. Oh, yes, Darlene, I'm having a girl. And <laughs> so my belly is bigger. I do have to say that. It's, I feel like, yep, this is, is I probably look pregnant now. Uh, <laughs> which is just so weird. Um, this is my first kid, if or first uh, pregnancy. Um, if, if anyone was wondering, but yeah. I don't know how much I'll show though. I'm a little, that, I don't know. Makes it really real then. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't take a lot of selfies. All my selfies I like for my little beginning of my lives here. I'll have to take a picture just to have, I don't know, some sort of progress pics at some point though, I think. All right, so I'm just kind of going around. I think I'm just gonna come back up this way. I know I'm kind of missed an area over here, but kind of going the like shortest route. I think I'm just gonna go all the way back up and I'll be probably out of thread again. Um, so we'll get some more and I'll just, Start up again somewhere. I mean, I'm going to go through piles of thread and going through this. All his little hairs. Ah. 
Oh, Lynn, that's a good reminder. Um, Lynn saying uh, when I when I go to Norway, May I'm I'm doing an early TSA pre check in March. Um, that's right. So we are. Oh, I'm gonna have to remind John about this. We have we signed up a few years ago for that TSA pre check, which is like you know an auto pre check. You can go into the special line, and they're not gonna check over tons of stuff theoretically, and and you're just good to go. But I think ours is, and I think it lasts like for five years or something or three years. Ours is, ours is up. Like we have to renew it this year. And I got a warning email ugh, about a month ago. Hopefully, I don't know. I'll have to open that up again and make sure that we sign up for that again. I don't know what's all involved with re re signing up, but yeah, that'd be a way to at least potentially hopefully help the idea of, you know, don't take my knitting needles. I suppose if they did take the needles, I could still keep the knitting on the cord, the cable. I don't know, guys. Like cable, right? Ugh. But that scares me. I don't know. I mean, they shouldn't take it, but you know, you never know who's working that day. But yeah, having pre check would probably help me with that. I gotta remember that. We gotta look into that, like, pronto. Forgot about that. All right, I'm gonna come back up and put this couple. In. Need, like, two up here, and then I think we'll be near done with uh with um this thread ah oh, gina says i had a metal point turner taken by tsa boo they say anything oh seven inches and longer isn't allowed okay all right well okay you know, I feel like they make up that crap on the spot, though. Like, I feel... So, I, I don't think my knitting needles, um, since they're those interchangeable ones, they're a little shorter, so... I don't think they're more than seven inches. I'll have to measure. But I feel like if they just decide, they'll be like, oh, you can't have it more than five inches, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it'll be, like, something stupid like that. I'm gonna have to look up the rules again so I can be like, yo, these are the rules. <laughs> I'm sure they really like, really like people telling them that, but... Um, ugh, that's a bummer, though. That sucks that that got taken. We had, like, scissors and stuff, like, little baby kid scissors taken, but, like, right at the beginning of all all that, like, right, right after 9-11, we, we, we had those taken. So that was, like, you know, before they let other things slide and stuff, before things were changed, and as far as what can go and not, um... And since then, I don't think we've had anything taken, but, you know, we're paranoid about it, too. All right. Last little turn. I don't have that much thread left. Boop. All right. Yep. I need more brown. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're taking the brown off of the um, bobbin here. Big chunk. All right, let's split that into our strands again and um, see how far we get. Yeah, so we got about 10 minutes here yet. We haven't froze again in a little while, so that's nice. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, yeah, it's annoying that. Um, my stuff has been, my video has been freezing a little bit here and there. Hopefully this sounds okay still. Um, like I said, I gotta get a, I think I gotta, I think the solution is I gotta buy a couple of new cords and then update all the firmware and everything. But that requires the new cords. <laughs> um, I think it happened, started happening because of software update and so then, you know, it all gets jacked. I thought, Maybe it would solve itself. I thought maybe it was like a software problem that would solve itself with a new update, but that was not the case. All right. Ooh, thanks for the follows. Um, all right. Shimma sham that for you. Okay. 
excited to have these done though and, and be just quilting. Actually, I'll be sad to stop embroidering them. This has been a fun, fun little journey working on this whole collection this year, this past year, 2022. It's been over a year that we've been working on it, or just, we're just at the year point, I think. I think we started in, in February of um, 2022. Oh, way down and get these other guys that I kind of missed here too I think yeah I'll be a little sad to be done embroidering so I'll <laughs> have another little embroidery project Ooh, and you guys I spent the weekend um drawing Almost all, I have three left. I have um, October, November, December left to do, but I finished doing the drawings for um, the next embroidery of the months. Oh, I'm gonna get myself caught. Let's, let's go back up here. So I, I'm through September now drawing the embroidery of the months. <laughs> Um, all the all little flowers, and I'm so excited for them. Um, there's one or two that maybe I'll pop on here and stitch with you guys. Again, I've I've been like, I we're we're not stitching the embroidery of the months live like we used to, and that's just because I can't guarantee that I'm gonna be able to continue that uh, with the baby stuff. So we're gonna just work on finishing this ABC quilt. Uh, but I hope you guys are having fun stitching those yet. February is the violet. We're doing birth flowers for every month. So I got all the rest of the birth flower except for the last three done. And um, they've just been so fun to draw. And um, Where do I go next? I feel like I'm trapping myself. I want to get kind of back up to the top. Let's just do that. But yeah, I was on a roll. Roll drawing those this weekend, which I'm so happy about. So um, I do kind of want to just finish up the last three, too. But yeah, the idea is so I can get ahead on that, too. So um, I'm done before baby comes. All right, I'm going to try and finish this thread uh, before we're done tonight. So tomorrow, I'm hoping, gosh, I'm hoping we could actually almost finish the rest of the yak. Um, you know, all the rest of these little hairs are going to take some time. But after that, there's not much left. Some back stitching. Oh, we do have some satin stitch on the nose and the little feet are satin stitched too, the little hooves. Um, I just had a brain freeze of like, oh, are they called hooves? <laughs> uh, just the animal anatomy stuff. Uh, I'm assuming they are. Uh, but yeah, so we could probably finish most of it tomorrow, which would be great because it's only Tuesday. I'm sure we might have a little teeny bit to finish up yet, but if we do finish it, then um, then we can get started on the, the whys, which is what's going to take a while if we do the um, turkey work stitch on the Ys, even though there's not that much to the Ys. They might not even look like Ys when we're done. They'll just be piles of floof down here, but just from the context of where they live, um, where it lives in the quilt, you'll know it's a yak. So even if the Ys look crazy, um, we'll be fine. But anyway, so yeah, as much time we can get on the turkey work stitch the better because that's gonna that's gonna take some time. All right, I'm kind of tempted to get these feet in as I go. So um, in the original one, uh, we did the back stitch all the way around the feet and then um, did the sand stitch. I think I might only do the back stitch like 
for the legs and have the feet or the hooves completely just live by themselves as satin stitch. Same with the nose. I, I outlined the nose, but I think I might just fill in the nose with satin stitch and not outline it. I kind of like that in satin stitch when it kind of lives alone. So I think that's all I'm going to do here. I'm just going to, like here, I'm just going to do one big stitch for this leg. And I'm not going to go all the way down. The rest will be satin stitch. And I think I'm going to just do the same thing coming back up. I think that'll be kind of consistent with the rest of this guy. And that'll be good. There, so we got his little back leg done. So let's crank through the rest of this floss. We'll weave it in and uh, call it an evening here. And thanks again, everyone, for joining me. It has been very, very nice being here again. Ooh, and we'll be shipping orders again tomorrow. Um, so uh, uh, if you're watching live, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw out, throw out here that we'll do our live special again, where if you order twenty dollars or more from penguinandfish.com, we'll throw in a three mist a free mystery gift. Um, so th that will go out tomorrow then, if you do that. Oh, Jesse is the female form of John. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. Elaine, Clara, we do like Clara. I do like that. Uh, Amelia, ooh, Darcy, that's kind of fun. Phoebe, we have a friend whose kid's name is Phoebe, so I think that's an auto out, even though I do like that one. Um, Odette, that's kind of pretty. Ooh, I like that one. I haven't thought about that, that one yet. That's a nice old name. I do like Clara, though. Um, that's, right now I have Claire on on my list right now. Um, but Clara is kind of in that same realm of being on the list. <laughs> oh, good night, Amy. Thanks for hopping in. Yes, yes, Lynn, I am shipping orders um, in the time that I'm off of the lives. I am, yes. So uh, we'll be shipping orders um, and uh, as far as I can tell, we will be doing that during baby time and all that too. So um, that's where, where Jenna, uh, Jenna comes here and helps with that a lot. So that should not really change. Um, so it's just really, really these lives right now is the only kind of shift. But yeah, orders will orders will still be going out. Ooh, I think I can get this guy and one more up. Ooh, Sadie, that's kind of cute. I like that. I'll tell John that one. I like that one. Um, all right, and uh, I think I can get one more. One more, and then we'll weave in. Oh god, this is cutting it close. All right, we'll weave in that end. Jeez, that didn't make us too far. So we're gonna have at least one and a half more strands here to get to get through the rest of this fur. So maybe that fur will take quite a bit of time tomorrow. We'll see. At least by Wednesday, I would like to think that we'd have this whole guy done. So ugh, that only gives us one day to do all the tricky work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not always great at estimating how long this will take. One guy. All right. All right, and there's our progress for tonight. Um, we will pick this back up uh, tomorrow. Again, I'm hoping to at least get through all the hair, all the brown. I'd love to get the face done. I'd actually love to get the whole thing, the whole like body done tomorrow. I don't know the likelihood of that, but I don't know. Maybe we'll be extra speedy tomorrow. That'd be cool. <laughs> we did do a lot of show and tell. Um, at the beginning, beginning of the day, but awesome. All right, you guys, I'm gonna flip you around. All right, and we are not frozen. That's, that's nice. <laughs> so, all right, here we, here we are. 
uh, it is going. Um, but yeah, awesome. So thank you guys again. I appreciate you popping back in. I know uh, it's been just like forever since I've been here. It's been two weeks. Um, so I do appreciate uh, your notifications being on and yeah, yeah, checking things out and knowing that I'm back. Um, so it, I'll be here through Thursday this week, Monday through Thursday the next week, and Monday through Thursday the week after that. And then it'll be off again till March where we'll do the same sort of deal. I think that's, there's only one week in between though this time, not two weeks. Uh, but yeah, and uh, we'll let you know about this text messaging thing once we have that up if you want that for your notifications for lives. And also, I'll let that uh, mystery gift special, like order $20 from penguinandfish.com, uh, and I'll throw in a free mystery gift. I'll let that go for another half hour or so. And uh, we'll just check the, you don't need a code or anything. We just check the time stamp on the order. And that'll go out tomorrow. So have a lovely, lovely evening, everyone. Nice to be back. Nice seeing ya. And I'll see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central. Good night.